Now based on the concept we learned in the previous video to find the trigonometric table of any angle uh, we learned there between 0 to 360 degree right but I'm gonna expand this even to bigger in the next video but here let's do a few practice uh, of finding a trigonometric table between 0 to uh, 0 to uh, 360 and uh, make sure that that should be multiple of 30 degree that is that is always easier or we can do multiple of 15 also but uh, here a little difficult you will feel once we'll learn like uh, a plus b or a minus b form of the uh, formulas then we can find out that also all right till that time we are going to focus on the 30 multiples uh, angle all right suppose i have to find out now uh, sine 210 degree so to find out sine 210 degree first i will i will draw a rough diagram all right and in that rough diagram i will see where is 200 and, uh, 210 degree this is zero degree line this is 90 degree line this is uh, 180 degree line and this is 270 degree line so from here I got confirmed that 210 is above 180 but below 270 it means I'm in the third quadrant all right and how can I write now I can write in two ways I can do 180 plus 30 degree all right here in 180 if I'm doing plus 30 degree or in 270 if I'm if I'm subtracting 60 degree you know both way I can get it all right so I can write this as a sine 180 plus 30 degree all right or if you wish you can write this sine 270 minus 60 degree whatever you like you do that all right and our next step is to confirm the quadrant and write the sign the quadrant is third we already confirmed all right and in third quadrant according to the cast rule C A s t in third quadrant only tangent and the cotangent is positive and rest of this is negative and this is now sine so sine in the third quadrant is negative so i'll put here negative sign all right and now uh, now the things come change and no change and what i had told you that uh, when you were when you were you are in the region of zero or 180 or 360 in this line there is no change all right there is no change and and here we are in the region of 180 right so 180 there is no change all right so if I have sine 180 uh, I mean sine and on, on the basis of 180 then I will get here only sine and how much it is 30 degree so it will be sine 30 degree and I'm gonna get now what is the value of sine 30 that's 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 so sine 210 is equal with minus 1 by 2 and if I'm going to by this method then I'm on the basis of 270 and I had told you whenever we are on the basis of 270 or 90 degree in this line all right their value get changes their changes takes plus all right and that time sine or convert into the cos cosine or cosine convert into the sine and if I have 10 then tangent converted into the cotangent or cotangent get converted into the uh, tan similarly sec get converted into cosec or cosec get converted into the sec and right now we have sine so sine get converted into the cosine uh, cosine so it will be now minus of cosine 60 degree and cos cosine of 60 degree is actually half and we have minus sine so both way you're going to have the same value you know because 270 is 27 I mean uh, 210 is 210 whether you're doing 180 plus 30 or 270 minus 60 so whatever you feel easy you can uh, opt that one all right let's take one more example let's say uh, tan uh, uh, 300 and 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 uh, let's say 15 all right tan 315 so now first thing I need to draw a rough uh, quadrant all right and I need to confirm where it is so this is zero degree line this is 90 degree line this is 180 degree line and this is uh, 270 degree line and once i will complete one cycle then this zero or i can say this is 360 degree line all right so now i have 315 this is 360 this is 270 means i'm somewhere here all right i'm in the fourth quadrant so in fourth quadrant all right uh, now i can do 270 plus 45 degree all right or from this level if I'm, I'm gonna do on the basis of 360 then I can do uh, 360 minus 45 degree all right so whatever we wish we can do that so uh, I can write that uh, 315 as a tan 360 minus 45 degree or or if I want then I can write 
or you know same like this or I can write this as a 270 plus 45 degree all right now the things come the sign you know the, the sign whether it is going to be positive or negative and now I'm in the fourth quadrant and we know the cost rule C A S T all right this tan is positive only in third quadrant all right but we are in fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant cos and cosine and sec is positive it means this tan is negative so let's give the negative values and now 360 whenever I told you we are in this line on the basis of 0 or 180 or 360 all right like here there is no change so if I have tan 360 then 360 minus 45 then then it will be the same tan I will get the ratio will be tan and angle is 45 so it is tan 45 all right and tan 45 is having value 1 so I got minus 1 so tan 315 is minus 1 and if you're doing on the basis of 270 then in this 270 line I told you all right in this line there is change just like in in this previous video right in this 270 we have changes or on the 90 basis we have changes and tan get changed into the cotangent so it is now cotangent of 45 degree and cotangent of 45 degrees also 1 and this is minus so minus 1 so in any ways whatever you feel easy you can do in that way here also you get minus way here we also we get minus 1 all right now let's I'm taking one more example let's take one more example and then we'll jump onto the another topic uh, let's say uh, let's say now this time we are taking cosec of uh, uh, let's say in let's say in second quadrant all right let's say something like uh, uh, like not 200 um, let's say 250 all right cosec of 150 now uh, I don't know the table of uh, 150 because uh, I know only the table between 0 to 9 in the first level of trigonometry I had just learned the table between 0 to 90 degree and now I need to find out here cosec 150 it is bigger than 90 degrees so I have to use this trick that we had learned in the previous video so cosec 150 first we need to confirm where is this 150 all right so to confirm this all right again I'm drawing this this is 0 degree line this is 90 degree line this is 180 degree line and this is 270 all right so now where is 150 150 is bigger than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so I got this is in the second quadrant all right so what I can write I can write now cosec 90 plus 60 or I can do 180 minus 30 all right so two possible answers are there I can do like 90 uh, plus 60 degree or or if you want then you can do cosec 180 minus 30 degree so whatever you wish you can do that all right both are same but I'm doing here by the both method and now see whenever we are in the uh, 90 all right first 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 let's talk about the sign we know the cast rule C A S T and here sine and cosine are positive it means we are in second quadrant now and sine and cosine are positive it means our value will have positive sign all right and now let's talk about change and no change you see here we have 90 basis so I told you whenever we are in the 90 or 270 basis all right in this the value get changed all right and how it changed sine get converted into the cosine tan get converted into the cot and sec get converted into cosec and vice versa so now we have cosec so cosec will get converted into the sec so we are going to have here sec 60 degree all right and what is the value of sec 60 that's again uh, let me tell you cos 60 degree is 1 by 2 and cos is actually the reciprocal of sec so therefore sec 60 will be 2 so our cosec 150 is going to have value 2 and that is also positive all right because cosec is positive in second quadrant and now cosec 180 minus 30 now we are on the basis of 180 so whenever we are on the basis of 180 in this line all right I told you there is no change right so here is again no change no change means we'll get cosec only so it is cosec 30 degree so now the things come what is the value of cosec 30 we know that sine and cosec are reciprocal and sine 30 is 1 by 2 so cosec 30 will be just reciprocal of this that's that's 2 you know sine is actually 1 over cosec and here cos is actually 1 over sec these things we have already learned in the pre stage of trigonometry so here again we got 2 and this is how we need to find out the any angle between 0 to 360 degree later we will learn how to find out the uh, uh, the trigonometric table of any 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 uh, bigger number all right 
first uh, I want to uh, tell you the generalization value and then we'll go there all right for the higher higher higher, higher angles all right see you in the next video with next concept goodbye